All right. Do you want to talk about the painting picture first? This was one that I had done years ago, but when I saw this poem that she had done, I was like, this is just the title, Boom. I didn't even have to read the poem, and, but it was just perfect, I thought, you know, because this was my baby. So, years ago. All right. The Old Dog Speaks. Each day you leave me, I have come to expect it and do not suffer. By now, we wear each other out like an old pair of slippers. And besides, I am tired. For 11 years, I have held my tongue, except when the crows get raucous in the field out back. Yet now, I must tell you, there is nothing to be afraid of. When I close my eyes, after you are gone, when my bones click into place, the field is all around me, alight with daisies and purple clover, full of bees. Each day you leave me, I see it more clearly. The jays and sparrows and the brush, the gold of the sunlight, going on forever. Listen, I have been the bowl you empty your sorrows in, the warm fire of forgiveness to your rage. I have seen your shadows and your stars, and I am still here at the moment when you pass from that life to this, when the key turns in the door, when your heart leaps to life or forgets to even care. I have already given you mine. <laughs> That's good, yeah. 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 That's a beautiful poem. You can hear who wrote that yes. poem. You <laughs> can tell that she made the reader go to tears. Who wrote the dog poem? Who wrote the poem? Who wrote the poem? Karen Elizabeth Sharp. Then Chosen. Karen, this is what I submitted to Karen. It was a Holka, Holka photograph that um, you can see now. <laughs> I'll talk like this, okay. <laughs> um, this is a Holga project that we did, and I just, it was one of those things that you just capture a moment in the woods, and I, I this hangs in my house. I love it. Yeah, you it's know? a beauty. That the, just the contrast with it, and it's, it's old fashioned photography. Mm -hmm. And this was her response. Chosen by Karen Elizabeth Sharp. A half moon last night rising over an ice skimmed quinsigamond and the slow earth turning away another day as we rolled to a stop caught watching the moon on a sleepy eye winking at the chain of lights on the highway below. And us in the car, a moon so like an upturned palm, like a chalice, so like an offering, spilling the night out on the streets that as the engine stilled and the car cooled, we said nothing, but leaned our heads close in the starlessness in the black moon poured sky. Maybe it was the chill December air. Maybe the solstice coming on. But no moon cold tides have ever been guided like this to the side of the road on a frigid night when best would be to head home, get on with things. But this is what it means to be chosen to love, to step out in the blind flow of traffic together, to strip naked the ghosts of purpose we call self to lose our names, our reason in the process, to ride the brim of half moon rising, to know there's not the right word for anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah.